one. Sorry. Have to supply all the paperwork before we get on board. That's me. And I'll show you my passport. Covid certificate, passport, before we get on every train. Some years younger, but no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Some years younger, yeah, yeah quite a few. <laughs> this is our mode of transport today from Zermatt to St. Moritz on the Glacier Express. We've got 191 bridges and 91 tunnels. Just look at the quality and cleanliness of this train, but it's just the same with everything here in Switzerland. Here we go. Just look. squeaky bum time walking over that this is where we are at the moment yep here we come this is what we've been waiting in the siding for There's these all over the place because I say it's mostly a single track line here. design of these trains is just fantastic.
kilometers long. in Switzerland that at the moment 60% of the power comes from hydroelectricity in the country and by 2050 there will be 100% of the power to come from water incredible goes through six countries Switzerland Austria Germany Belgium France and I think Liechtenstein today nearly eight hours long on the Glacier Express and just look at some of the scenery it's just spectacular glass train that you can see so much out of and at the minute we are 1780 meters above sea level it's only five degrees outside but just fantastic when you look here. See if we can get this out the window. We're just coming into a tunnel, I think, in a few minutes. Yep, here we go. Good project there. We're, we're just coming into a tunnel in a minute that's six kilometres long. just come onto an underpass at the station at St Moritz and just staggered at how clean it is and tidy. No graffiti anywhere here, just lovely murals on the walls. Look at that. Another one there. And look at this, just spotlessly clean. And here is the lake. We're staying at a hotel somewhere right in the distance, somewhere up there. We're going to walk around it. It's only five degrees, but fantastic. So impressed with Switzerland, really am. So clean and tidy, lovely country.
our first day in St Moritz and this is our hotel in the background and everywhere we go we've just got stunning scenery in location with the mountains all around us here snow on the top up there just a fantastic area we're just about to go on a cable car up to the mountains somewhere at the top so this is what we're about to get in I haven't been in one of these for probably maybe 25 years or plus since I went skiing and uh, ruptured my cruciate ligament on day one of a 14 day holiday so spent the next eight days in hospital but anyway this will be interesting we're going right to the top there and hopefully further across there as well somewhere just spoken to a guy who um, works here and asking him a bit of history and this is a map of the mountain and where we are at the minute at the top of uh, uh, above St Moritz and these are all the various uh, ski runs but I was asking him these machines here you can see these blue machines what are they all up the mountain here and we've got one very close here and you can just see them there as well where have I I just saw like, there we go up the mountains all up under those you can just see them under those wires and here's one and what they are they are snow making machines I'm amazed at the size of these snow making machines and here are three or four new ones ready to go out just look at the size of them the uh, the engineering here everywhere in Switzerland is just unbelievable you don't see many signs like that in Lincolnshire next leg of our little trip up to the top of the mountain helicopter down there dropping supplies in that's how they do all the construction take everything slung under a rope on a helicopter you can just see something underneath right at the actually we're not at the top we're three quarters of the way up we've got another journey on a cable car this time they look useful machines, low ground pressure, I bet they've pulled the drill well. Well, 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 I didn't expect to see one of these right up the mountain. We're now going right up to there on this. Fascinating seeing all the engineering and how everything works up here in the mountains. There we are with the fence. Lo and behold, up here we have snow making machines actually working. Apparently, they can only start when it's less than minus two. If it's any warmer, they're no good. Top of the mountain, time for a coffee. 
And on the menu was Bailey's coffee and Amaretto coffee. So that is what we've had looking out down below. The snow. And it, yeah, it's just starting to snow. You can just see the flakes. Right at the top of the mountain, as high as the cable car will go. The weather's actually closed in a bit since we got here half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago. It's now misty, foggy, and it has started to snow. And you can see down there, all the white down there is the snow making machines that we looked at a little while ago. And also really interesting, again, just shows how they're relying on renewable energy. Look at all the solar panels on the side of this cable car um, building at the top of the mountain. Just again, something that Switzerland are really focusing on is renewable energy. We've got fences here to, I think, stop the rock fall. I think it's the snow. Possibly snow, yes. Yeah. Get ready. Ooh. <laughs> it's amazing how fast we're going. And this is one of the snow making machines close up. Fascinating. I don't know how much they cost, but the amount they are around these mountains is incredible. We're about to head back down to St. Moritz. Helicopter is still busy carrying stuff up and down on a long wire. taking lane. <laughs> Crikey, has to be timed to precision. Here we are. This is halfway down. We have to change and get in another one. It's 11pm, the florists and cafes leave things out at night. If that was in the UK, it'd be either vandalised or stolen. It shows the difference in our two cultures. There's lots of building work going on here in St Moritz. Interesting little bobcat. Never seen one like that before. He's got his stilts out right down to the road. Front wheels splayed right out. The next leg of our journey starts here. We're leaving St. Moritz in Switzerland. Had a fantastic couple of days here. And we are now going on another brilliant train journey. We are about to board the Bernina Express, which is another one of these glass topped trains going through the Alps, but a different part to where we've been. So we're just about to get on the train for another exciting journey. 